You guys are just so amazing. And every night when I go to bed, I it just brings tears to my eyes that you are who you are and you're able to be who you are every day and express yourselves and your poetry and your creativity and your drive and your spirit and just all the life that you bring to YSA and that you bring to the community, all your leadership. And um, so I'm just so grateful to you guys for everything that you offer us and your inspiration and so just Keep going, keep it up, keep up all your leadership and all your growth. You're the best. Aww. Thank you. I guess it's been two or three years that I've been involved in YSA. And when I first started coming, we we're across the street in that tiny little place over there. Some of you might remember that. Anyone here who remembers that little? Okay. <laughs> and we we're kind of scrounged in there, and it was really hard to do art, and it was hard to do stuff. And, Sally's leadership brought us across the street here, and Victor's incredible uh, mentoring as a brilliant artist, and just working with all of you, and all of you stepping up, and just seeing so much growth, uh, and uh, you know Danielle's work that she's been doing now, and, you know, it just it, it just really makes me. And in fact, I was earlier today with. Um, Susan Weingraff, who is on the uh, city council, stopped by her house. She lives near Vining. I was going to tell her about YSA. And I said, you know, the thing that really is incredible is the youth leaders that we have here. How articulate they are. I said, I'd, I'd be happy to put a good number of them in my classes at the university because they're so thoughtful, so smart, and uh, so articulate. Just great leaders. So, Whatever you're doing here in terms of training leaders, like dreaming, uh, just makes uh, a world of good and a world of difference and makes the world a better place. So.